Ah, yes. Fashion of the fittest. Time honored and much beloved spectacle held here in Central. Slowly through here, Liva. Hit each mark. Allow the wretched masses to ogle the full impact of my genius. Ah, yeah. Give it all to them. No, no. Hold some back. This was to stare into the sun. Yeah, oh, tiny creatures weep openly. Tremble in the presence of Lefroche. Great, now let's take it out on the torture track and really open it up. So, you flew! Now you know what it's like to be me. <laughs> Only not so much. Forward, side to side, up! It's more spectacular than the last! Beats, I'm going to switch to an ocular test only now, okay? It's not you, it's your voice. Beats. Soaring, but also leaping, like uh, this soul leap, yes! <laughs> the, the lines, they undulate like swollen water, they crash on the ragged iron shore. I can see the carbon fiber layers tarted over. What is the time limit for tonight? Generous? Actually, it's pretty tight. Models are allowed only a few minutes between rounds to fully display the glamour, beauty, and lethal efficiency of their designer's new battleware collections. If they can't keep up, kaboom! Disqualification equals death tonight. The chairman must be in a dark mood. Well, we wish them all the best of luck. Tonight's Fashion of the Fittest features dazzling new designs from revered style mavens such as Manuel Z, Chartop, Carbide Brothers, J.G. Alcia, and, of course, Lula Frick. The action-packed drama unfolds under the stars in the majestic standing room only Central Coliseum. Who's the projected frontrunner this year? Tough to tell yet. Melanie Q is wearing Yishkin tonight, and they're both big favorites. We're coming to the end of the first round of Fashion of the Fittest. Join us for more state-sponsored mayhem. And style. And style as we finish round one right after this. Man, the crowd really loves that outfit. Just listen to it. Yes, it's a real treat to be part of a populace with such a discerning taste for style, Keller. Una, let's get the real show started. Come find me backstage. We found the entrance to Trevor Goodchild's laboratory complex. You've got a short break before your second round on the runway to check it out. Got my fug? Here, remember to return it to me before you hit the runway next round. They've installed a roller system down here. That means they're moving tons of something in and out. Those blue force fields only allow authorized green soldiers to pass. But you can smuggle yourself past them inside a roller. Inside a roller? You're kidding. We can't get you in the front door. We're, we're not sure there is one. I've got to get back to the runway. I'm modeling for Exeter X. Really? You? Yeah. How do you think I got in here? Wait, what do you mean, me? The Carbine Brothers model is doing very well tonight. A three-year veteran. Ooh, that's gonna be tough to recover from. working on something we aren't supposed to know about. That's what makes it fun. Get us some samples if you can.
They've changed these. Breaking a yellow beam triggers the alarms. Breaking a red one will hurt you. Bad. Got that? You're not authorized to be in this area. Sound the alarm. Activate security turret. Uh, what have you done now? You'd better get moving. Bring this guy down on her! 